Oh yeah. There are many types of people and ways to celebrate this spooky holiday of Halloween. There's costumes, candy, and jump scares, and most of all, fun. First type of person is the candy lover. They really don't care about their costume, they just want to eat candy. And after Halloween's over, they rush straight to Walgreens or, you know, any other store to pick up on those sweet 50% off candy discounts. If they attend the Halloween party, they're snacking the entire time, and preferably on candy. But they'll settle for pretzels, chips, any snack. Next type of person on Halloween is the costume repeater. This is somebody who uses the same costume every single year. The trade-off is they have a really cool costume, but over time, maybe it gets a little boring. The funny thing though is you'd think that people would actually get bored, but every year people still end up being amazed by it. Wow, such a cool costume. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, uh, thanks. I've worn it four years in a row. <laughs> Honestly, I did this for like four years myself. I was a Grim Reaper with glowing eyes. And yeah, it was pretty epic. Next type of person is the pet dress up. Uh, is that the right grammar? Pet dresser upper? This person puts all their effort into their their pet's costume, and usually the pet's a dog, sometimes a cat, but I've noticed cats don't prefer wearing stuff they don't want to. This person might dress up their dog, but at the same time, they might get a costume similar. So if the dog's wearing a bee costume, they wear a bee costume. If the dog's wearing a vampire costume, they wear a vampire costume. If the dog's wearing a dog costume, they wear a dog costume. Wait, the thing about this person is they love seeing all the cute reactions everybody gets. And they're like, oh, such a cute dog. Oh, let me take a picture. Next type of person on Halloween is the cosplayer. Somebody who obviously loves Halloween because free cosplay pass. I mean, there's people who will attend conventions throughout the year, attend fan meetings throughout the year, just take videos and pictures throughout the year wearing cosplays which is just another word for costumes for those of you who are uneducated. And it's almost always some game or anime character. They put a ton of effort in. You know, someone might go to Dollar Tree or the Spirit Store and get a store-bought costume. The cosplayer is like, haha, no, I'm making my own cosplay from scratch. Or I'm putting my cosplay together from real materials. Other thing you'll notice about these people is they're very dramatic. Next type of person on Halloween is the prankers. These are people who want to play tricks instead of treats on Halloween. Sometimes it's something innocent like jump scaring a friend or giving them a sour candy when you advertise it as a sweet candy. And you know, that's all cool and good. There's nothing wrong with that. You can't really go wrong there. But other times it's pretty messed up like teens going around throwing toilet paper and eggs on someone's house or going around vandalizing stores and shoplifting everything you can or actually going out of your way to scare little kids like you know slasher movie style I, I admit that's not most people that's that's a small percentage so usually it's just a harmless prank but those of you doing actual weird pranks stop well, I mean to be they probably wouldn't even be watching this video next person is the candy giver someone has to give the candy right when people are out trick-or-treating the candy giver is sitting at their door or living room chilling with a big bag of candy because they know kids are gonna ring that doorbell and want stuff handed to them usually it's an adult anywhere from middle age to grandma and grandpa but when it's a kid <laughs> big f in the chat but mom i want to go Nope. Next type of people is the ones who don't celebrate. There's always gonna be people who don't celebrate for a number of reasons. Maybe it's a religious thing. Sometimes it's just too scary. Or maybe you don't like candy. Who, who doesn't like candy? Either way, I respect your decision because I, I know there are people who just don't celebrate it. You know, that's chill with me. I understand. One of the other people on Halloween is the movie watcher. This is someone who's obsessed with scary movies. They spend all of spooky season binging horror. Sometimes they watch alone, but other times they like to watch with friends, cause then they can all scream together at the scary parts. Kinda like a roller coaster. Who goes on roller coasters alone, right? Personally, I don't really like slasher movies cause they're just jump scares, gore. What's the point even? Psychological horror is where it's at, right? Yeah, psychological horror. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Last but not least is the all-out decorator. Have you ever seen those houses out there with skeletons and pumpkins? And then you see the house that's insane. They have lights everywhere, music, 20 creepy animatronics, and a guy who literally goes around with a mask, jump scaring anyone who tries to trick or treat. Yeah, that's the all-out decorator. Many people will do a small decoration, like a gravestone, or maybe some orange lights on the bushes, but the all-out does everything. My cousin has a neighbor like this, actually. 
But uh, yeah, those are the nine types of people on Halloween. All right, I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy Halloween, everybody. As always, my name's Envy Perry, and I'll see you in the next video.